Here's a square of grey cardboard. Now grey comes in many different shades. And here I have two more grey squares. One on a black background and one on a white background. My question to you is this. Which of those grey squares is darker? The one on the left or the one on the right? You might say, oh, that's easy. The grey square on the right is considerably darker than the grey square on the left. But I think you may be in for a surprise. Watch this. If I move the darker grey square on the right over to the left, now it appears lighter. In fact, both grey squares were cut from the same piece of cardboard. They are identical, but it's the surrounding colour that affects what you see. The black makes you see a lighter grey. It's called a contrast effect. I wonder if it works with coloured objects. Let's have a look. Here are two red apples, one on purple, one on green. Which red looks brighter? You might say, oh, once again, the one on the right on the green looks much brighter. Oh, no, they're the same red apple cut from the same piece of cardboard. That's a colour contrast effect. And, in fact, the colour of the leaves on a tree will depend on the colour of the sky behind. The colour in your face that somebody else sees will be affected by the colour of the walls in the room. And if you wear opal jewellery, the colours that you see in the opal will be determined by the colours of the surrounding clothes.